go to YouTube to search trolls and in this show I'll be showing you how to make a uh, light uh, lighting studio in Cinema 4D. So open Cinema 4D. Um, now create a plane, make it uh, make it bigger, whatever size you want doesn't matter. Actually, let's see. Um, click on the plane and go to uh, object and increase the width to about 600, 6000 and um, yeah actually more than that so we have more room about there um, now uh, decrease the segments to 1 width segments and height segments to one and um, now click C uh, hold, select the plane and click C and I'll go to structure and select brave I mean select extrude now click on the longer side and on the offset um, make it 200 2500 and the angle 90 and click apply now click new transform uh, on the offset select uh, type in 3500 and press enter and um, so now you have your studio now uh, we need to make the uh, Round, uh, edges around it so go to structure select bravel now select uh, one side hold shift select the upper side and um, tap in 450 on the inner offset and subdivision 6 and let's try brazier uh, type brazier and click apply and so we got uh, gradient um, corners here it's looking better now and uh, now now we need to make the light and to do that we just make a plane uh, increase the size now take the tool and um, hold shift and just drag it until it's 90 degrees <laughs> excuse me degrees um, now just drag it to the side here. Now, um, copy and paste the frame, uh, the plane, and you do that by, uh, by oh, excuse me. Uh, sorry about that. Um, that was my mom. So uh, let's get back to it. Um, so select the plane that you want to copy and paste, and click Control. C, Control V, and now drag the other plane out of the first plane and onto the other side. And now you get two planes on the sides. Oh, got a little stuck there, but that's all right. Um, now we want to make light, so double click on the material, uh, uncheck color, check luminance, uh, luminance and uh, set the color to bluish light bluish uh, okay um, now I remember I think it was Francel no it wasn't Francel uh, increase the brightness to to 160 about there about 160 or 150 um, and yeah now drag this to the side that you want uh, the color where you want the colors to be uh, cold so drag it there and now uh, create a new material double click on it and check color check luminance uh, select check, uh, change the color to orange light orange and um, the brightness to about 400 and drag it over um, drag it over the other plane. It's 
so now it's not gonna you're not gonna see anything if you render it or you're just gonna see a uh, white but uh, we can change that by going to render settings then uh, click on effect uh, global illumination and change the GI mode to RI QMC camera animation diffuse depth to 2 gamma whatever uh, to 1.8 and now let's test this So as you can see now we got uh, it's still rendering but we have uh, light illumination and on one side it's uh, cold blue and on the other side it's uh, orange more like sunlight this is more like uh, I don't know like regular light um, okay so now it's kind of looking dark in the middle uh, so we can create another plane so let's create another plane now let's make it bigger and straight it up and turn it at about 50 degrees and drag it over here and maybe drag it up a little bit more so it's, it looks pretty weird but uh, you don't really need I mean you don't need to, all, to see all the things that are going on outside you just need um, to see uh, the lightning so and now select the new plane that you made uh, double click on the material um, uncheck color check luminance and I think it's friend cell um, friend cell luminance and we have to so go go to friend cell double click on the shader and change this side to light gray and this one to even lighter gray so and now go back to luminance and increase brightness and also increase mix strength oh you can't in increase it so uh, I think I'm doing something wrong here not sure okay uh, let's just test this let's change the color to a orangish a very light orange and drag it over and drag it over this plane that we made and now let's render this and see what happens uh, as you see we got uh, more lightning it's not as dark anymore and yeah it's looking better now and it's really fast and easy to make this so now what you can do with this is you can change the background color so double click here make a new material um, and select the color maybe like black and reflection red cell and yeah and maybe reduce reflection by quite a bit Yeah, now drag it over to our background and now let's render it. takes a while to render this um, always with global illumination if you have a very fast computer it doesn't take so long but so 
Well, it looks alright. If you zoom out and render again, it might look better. This doesn't look too great. Uh, maybe, I don't know why, maybe you can make change the color to a little bit lighter color. Um, to a gray, maybe. And let's see. I'm gonna come back when it's done uh, rendering. Uh, it looks alright, so. But there's so many things that you can do with this. Uh, so many things that you can change. Colors, anything you want. Just, uh, if you have good imagination, you can make a lot of great things in this. But, yeah, I think we're pretty much done. I mean, um, if you want shadows, you can go to render settings, go to effect and ambient occlusion, and increase the contrast by to like 10 and the maximum ray length to about 100 somewhere around 100 and and yeah go back to global illumination go to irridance catch and reduce that to low stochastic catch the samples I mean uh, record density low so it this is gonna majorly reduce the rendering time uh, yeah let's see how fast it renders see it's much faster now than it was so as you can see there's shadows now and you get the point uh, anyways, thank you for watching this tutorial. Please subscribe. Our tutorials and 